Flatback turtles are a long-lived and enigmatic species of marine turtle, only found in Australia. To discover more about them, Parks and Wildlife is managing a 30-year research project known as the Northwest Shelf Flatback Turtle Conservation Program, funded by Chevron's Gorgon Gas Project. Monitoring of flatbacks is occurring on the beaches of Thevenard Island in the Pilbara, where females lay clutches of about 50 eggs two or three times during the nesting season. Parks and Wildlife is monitoring flatbacks on Thevenard because we need um, several um, reference sites on the North Wales Shelf to be able to have an idea of how the um, whole population is doing. Knowledge about flatbacks is generally limited to adult females, their nesting habits and what occurs at their offshore feeding grounds. Turtle scientists have discovered females reach sexual maturity at about 20 years of age. But what happens when hatchlings leave the nest and head out to sea is a mystery. They call this the lost years. We don't know anything about males, absolutely nothing. So we don't know where they are. We assume that they are at the same place as the females, but we are not sure of that. We don't know if they follow the females during the migration to come to the nesting sites. We don't know where these um, turtles mate. Um, nobody has really, has never really observed or taken a picture of a mating pair. These knowledge gaps are what drive the department's sea turtle researchers and intrigue the wider community. So people have this fascination about uh, flatback turtles, probably yes, because they there are lots of things we still don't know about, about this species and um, lots of things we can't see. Uh, it's, it's actually not so easy to, to observe um, a, a sea turtle and, and it's definitely a treat, I guess, for lots of people to be able to, to come to a nesting site and to, to see a female um, laying eggs and to see the little hatchlings. For several weeks at a time during the November to March nesting season, staff monitor the females in often very hot temperatures while working predominantly at night to attach numbered flipper tags and microchips to help ID the turtles. This work can't be done without the help of volunteers like marine biology graduate James G. Absolutely, it was, um, it was a really eye-opening experience. Uh, the island itself was, was an amazing location to be working. Uh, there was so much wildlife up there um, that you sort of never, never had a dull moment and um, the work was really hands-on and something that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, something that I'd never really done before and I don't think you could do many other places in the world. Working with all the um, staff at Parks and Wildlife and, and all the other volunteers was, was a really great experience. Um, I got to meet a whole group of different people and, and made a whole lot of friends um, and together I felt that we were doing something that um, was helping the environment. It's, a, it's an area that has never really been looked at um, scientifically in terms of the turtle populations so um, by establishing these baseline studies um, really sort of making a, making a dent into conservation in that, sort of, in that part of the world. Results from 2017 summer monitoring showed a very high hatching success rate and confirmed Thevenard as a suitable site for ongoing turtle research. Sabrina and the team can't wait to return to the island for more monitoring and the opportunity to work hands-on with the flatbacks.